Hey friends, how's it going? Hope you all are having a great day. I get asked a lot where I buy my tea. If you're new here, you might not have um, noticed. I've got kind of an obsession with tea. I make some healthy drinks. It's what I drink all the time, like more than two quarts a day. And I like to have a lot of variety. That's what keeps me from drinking soda and other bad for me things. So anywhere I go, I am always looking for good tea. Now when I say tea, I'm not just talking like Lipton tea bags, okay? Although I like a good sweet tea, that's what I grew up with. So sweet and sugary that it made your, you could feel the sugar in your teeth. Um, I am mostly drink herbal tea fruit flavor tea, but I've got a whole bunch of different things and I buy them from all over the place. So I thought I would reveal my obsession with all the different flavors of tea because we just got some new ones this weekend. So I thought it would be a perfect time to show you what I have on hand at any given moment and where I got it. So I am going to turn my camera around, find the button. Here we go. Okay. So Everyone's familiar with these celestial seasonings. You can find these in almost any grocery store. This is a great one to start with if you haven't because if you haven't done this before because it has all these different flavors in it. So usually you can find the sampler, wild berry, raspberry, and peach at pretty much any grocery store. Online or we just got back from Jungle Gems in Cincinnati. Um, we were able to get a few other flavors. These two are awesome. Watermelon, lime, and cranberry apple. If you can find sangria, oh my word, buy it all. It is fantastic. Um, we also bought at Jungle Gyms the strawberry. I haven't tried that one yet, but this, Taylor's, blackberry, raspberry, holy cow, it's so good. Um, another place I buy a lot of my teas is Swanson's Vitamin. I wait till I need some other like health food, healthy cooking supplies, and then I throw as much tea as I think I can afford in my cart. This one I get on Amazon on subscribe and save. This is also my favorite. Love it, love it, love it. And um, so these I think I all bought off Amazon lately. So, okay, kind of turn it back around. So what do I do with all those? Well, I make tons and tons and tons of tea. And I've done a lot of videos on those before, so maybe you've already seen those. Basically, for the fruit tea, real easy. Two tea bags, two tablespoons of a raw apple cider vinegar, and with the stevia I use, a quarter teaspoon of stevia. I plop the tea bags in the jug, fill it up with water, I leave them in there, stick it in the fridge, start drinking it in about half an hour. I don't have time to be steeping. You see all those ones that I have? I can't steep boil water and do all that every day okay so I don't even bother my kids drink this instead of kool-aid or soda or anything else this is legit what we drink all the time um, but not all, only use the apple cider vinegar if you're doing fruit tea do not put apple cider vinegar in like a black tea um, or as I've done accidentally a peppermint tea that's seriously nasty so here are some of my other teas that I have okay so this one we just bought at Jungle Gyms also. It's a green tea with macho, matcha, it's mojito mint. It is super good. That is what's in that boy right there. I have not tried that one with apple cider yet. That's without, I'm gonna try that soon. Um, Bengal spice is my favorite chai and you can fortunately find that one at most stores and that's what's in him. Okay, and then we have peppermint, this, also just bought it at Jungle Gyms, but you can sometimes find it online. Um, Amazon is usually pretty pricey for tea, so um, don't, like you shouldn't pay more than $2.50, $3 for a box of Celestial Seasonings. Um, so we just, you know, $2.50 for this box of tea. I love this. It's oolong, but it's also chocolate mint. Did you see my oolong video? Okay, I did a whole thing on oolong tea. It's fantastic. It's great for weight loss. And then this one, I can't remember the name of it, it's cinnamon and orange, and it's kind of like the Harney's Hot Cinnamon Sunset. So that's super good also. So, woo, too close. Okay, so 
That's a lot. So if you missed any of those and you want to know where I got it, let me know and I will try and find out for you. Um, but seriously, we drink this all the time. When someone is sick, we throw in more apple cider vinegar. Uh, last week, one of my daughters had a cold, but she also had an intensive dance workshop that she was going to. She drank, I am not even kidding, a gallon of one of these. What the This one, the iced passion is her favorite. And so over the course of probably about five hours, she drank a gallon with extra apple cider vinegar. And the next day she was able to go to dance class. So we just don't get sick because we do this. So anyway, let me know if you have questions and feel free to share this video so everyone can do the tea thing. I'll drop um, links in the comments with a few of my other videos if you want little less of a rambly thought and more of actually how I do it. So anyway, have a great afternoon. Talk to y'all later. Bye.